It's check-in time. Yeah, David and I are here for Discovery Cove again. And hey, David, what are you looking forward to doing today? Drink it. <laughs> when you come to Discovery Cove, all of your adult beverages are included. This is what the lobby looks like where you check in. They're checking us in now. I'm getting the upgrade drink package. This is our first animal encounter. It's a green wing macaw. That's a peak of one of the little rivers that you ride through. When you come into civilization, the shop that has the masks is right here to the left. Here's a uh, directional post, I guess you would call it, so you can get a good idea where you're going. The restaurant's right over here to the right. It's all outside seating for breakfast and lunch. And if you're... And you can slip in at dinner if you're smart. I was just going to say that. That's too funny. Breakfast is open to 1030 and then lunch is 11 to 330. This is served all you care to enjoy. You just tell them to pile it on and they will. So there you go, breakfast. Then they've got all kinds of pastries and lots of fruit. Orange juice, milk, chocolate milk. Once you have your breakfast, make a right and head on past this gift shop. And that's the direction where the lockers are. There's two sets of lockers. They normally reserve the first set of lockers for people with handicaps. And you get sent on to the second set of lockers. To the left here is where the dolphins are. And if you keep on going down, you'll get to Grand Reef. So this is where you go to get your wetsuit. You either get a wetsuit or a vest. You cannot go into any of the waterways unless you have one. So make sure you pick one up on your way to your locker. We got our parking spot. Well, our chairs right here in front of Dolphin Lagoon. Let's take a walk down to the dolphins. We're gonna go find some place in the sun because it is chilly. It's about 68 degrees here in Florida today. And I know if I were in uh, Wisconsin, that would be super warm. But when you live in central Florida and you're here in a bathing suit, we're freezing. This is one of the little snack shops. And this is what it serves if you have the premium drink package. So they're open now, it's not quite nine o'clock, but alcohol is not served until 10.30. They have slushies, Rice Krispie treats, salted peanuts, various sodas, chips. They have hot pretzels. I believe they have warm cookies, ice cream. If you make a left out of Laguna Grill, you'll be heading towards the aviary. Underneath the signpost is a clock. There's a clock down the other end too. In the event that you don't wear a watch and you have a time schedule, say a dolphin swim, you can keep track of what's going on. We're gonna head over the bridge, over towards the aviary. So this little location here has different animal encounters almost all day. We bring animals out throughout the day. We don't have scheduled times right now because of the COVID. We can't have a huge... Sure, order. understandable. But yeah, we do bring animals out throughout the day. Birds and mammals. Mm -hmm. And right now we've got a sloth. This is a sloth. His name is Lucky. He is a two-toed sloth. These guys are native to the rainforest of Central and South America. You never know what kind of surprises you're going to get here. Pick up a noodle to float through the different waterways. Make sure you get a sanitized one. <laughs> Hello, thank you. Here is a, another one of those snack locations. Again, there are three. This is the farthest end to the left as you walk into the park. Going past the snack bar is the aviary and a location where you can see the otters without being in the water. The 930 Flamingo Walk. have very sensitive nerve endings along the tops of their beaks there. That's how they can sift around for food particles. So without having hands, first things come first, their beak. It's a pretty bird. Oh, look how gentle and nice. What a nice bird. Okay. All right, guys, well, we're gonna head back. 
Look, if you'd like to kind of part the sea, we're gonna walk them on back. Let's go. And they're off. So we're in the aviary, and as you can see, this little winding river goes right through it. Now the birds don't fly down to the people down there. They only fly to people with food. So if you're afraid of birds, you can still go through the waterway. Just don't come in the aviary. Do you guys want some food? Please! Oh, I didn't see those before. Those are like vultures. They do look like vultures, don't they? He is really chomping down. You can really feel it when he puts his beak on there. Hi there. It's 10.30 and it's time to drink. Exactly. And I got an Aloha Sunrise. It looks delicious. It's a laughing kookaburra. He's the one that we think is a monkey. They are the ones typically used in the movie soundtrack. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Drink number two, a paradise breeze. David and I brought waterproof bags. You can put your phone in them if you want, but we're using them for our face masks. So we don't have to go back and forth to the locker every time we want to go into for, the water. for cigarettes too. We're going to brave the water. The water I think is warmer than the air temperature and have our drinks in the water. The water's actually really warm. So I'm also wearing water shoes because the bottom of these lazy rivers are very uneven and I always wind up stubbing my toes and going home with sore feet. Okay. This island is where the Jeffrey's marmosets are. I don't see any at the moment. We'll see if we can find some. You can rent a private cabana. I think they're like $450 for the day. And come refrigerators and and wait service but as far as I know you still have to go get your own lunch floating through these little rivers is very relaxing we're back at Laguna Grill for lunch they've got all kinds of yummy stuff cheesecake. yeah they've got cheesecake I will be getting some of that it's sort of like being on a cruise. You can order whatever you want. You can come back as many times as you like. It is all included in the price. I'm gonna get steak and the salmon and put some rice on there. You don't have to have it just like the plates show. You can do it. And then they have a nice Caesar too. I just saw that. You can also have wraps, salads. This used to be self-serve, but now that COVID is here, it's, they serve you. Here, show mine. So David got the veggies, I did not. He got the rice and the steak and the salmon. salmon. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he got a uh, Caesar salad and fruit. And I got the cheesecake and the coleslaw and the Neptune salad. The Neptune salad has shrimp and stuff in it. The steak and the salmon, the taters. Steak and, is amazing. And the rice, an iced tea. Bon appetit. When we got into the water, we did not get into the water cannon in the right way, so we're just kind of going around in circles here. <laughs> we're stuck. We can't get anywhere. Yeah, we can't get anywhere. It's putting us in a circle. No, oh, it's going to be all right. We have to actually work to get into the stream. Oh, there you go. There we got it. This waterfall coming up here tells me that we are going into the area. Now, hopefully I got all the water out of the speakers so you can hear me. But look, there's birds right inside. Rainbow. All right.
right, this new waterfall means we're leaving the aviary. Water shoes. They work as flippers. Here's some of the cabanas that you can rent. Here we're going up to the cave. I'm here in the Grand Reef. I was a little nervous that it was going to be really, really cold. But in reality, due to the fact that the air is not really warm, I don't feel that cold in the water. So that's helpful. David is modeling our new face covering from Discovery Cove that we got in our little package with a face covering and a hand sanitizer. This is much more comfortable. I like this much. This is better than the original one? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. If you've got little ones, Discovery Cove will actually give you this stroller to use so you can take the baby on the sand and I'm told that they also give you uh, water diapers, which is really cool. So bring your little ones. So we're here at the end of our day at Discovery Cove and David, what was your favorite part? Um, I liked the marmosets even though I didn't really even see them this time, but the no, marmosets, marmosets are wonderful. Um, I learned from other guests that were there about iguanas and lizards, how they can swim. <laughs> right? So you meet people and you learn things but no, it's just a beautiful place. The food, the lunch, the lunch, the steak. The steak, the steak and the and salmon was amazing. I got the steak and I mixed it with that with rice and stuff like that. So it was really good. Breakfast Delicious. is- Delicious. Breakfast is- Breakfast is okay. Okay. And today they didn't even have bacon, boo. But we had, I, I tried yogurt. I tried a lot of stuff. Yeah, and it was a fabulous day. The best part of the day was it got warmer. It was so cold this morning, we could hardly like get out of the water but we made it through and it was really great. And uh, if you got this far, please give us a like and subscribe. Thanks so much, have a great day. Until next time. So we have a sky rider that writes in the sky on a regular basis. You can see it from Disney or SeaWorld or wherever. And here at Discovery Cove, just once I want him to write, surrender Dorothy. Oh, that's warm right there. I'm staying right in this spot. You know why it's warm. Somebody probably peed here. <laughs> that's probably why. I think she was having an orgasm.